of your bedroom. I'll rip it in for a computer, but you can bake it back and go now. When you go to the place, I have a chip washer and a fire bit. And you have to be five chips. And you can crack it long term. I think well, I think and they come back and uh, you might buy it by well and well, but you can one third. And carry two again, I can see a well here. Well and well. Hmm. That's fascinating. I can see this tonight. What? And you can do it again. Okay, I can do, I can pick a rate at 8 and 12, 24 makes you come with wind color local bolt, so 9.4 comma 2.4. And for me, I can picture it. Now, if I was to say one four plus three four, I said yesterday in a recent video, and if you have to subtract him, that if you were going to add and subtract, Fractions, you cannot add the denominator. Add and subtract the denominator. You cannot say 3 8. You cannot do that. Adding and subtracting fractions requires you to have common denominator. Now, at four and four, they are common denominator. So it's four over four. And that's the answer. Now I can go ahead and make it a whole number. I can go ahead and make it a one. But we're not going to do it regular fraction. We'll worry about well, we will worry about this number in the next set of lessons. 
I mean, adding subtraction, this number, like a whole number and a fraction, the process is the exact same thing as when you say two regular fractions. Now, let's go with five tenths, five eleventh, plus three eleventh. Let's add that. Do we see a common denominator? Yeah. A eleven, they're both common denominator. I can add it through to 811. Yeah, let's do a subtraction one, too. Let's do a 11 13 minus 6 13. Now, this is how we're subtracting. I have a word subtraction. Can you see why you do adding or subtracting? What do you call 513? Now, that is very easy. Now let's go back to adding. I'll go with one half plus two thirds. Uh oh. Do you come with the denominator? No. You do not. But what about the LTM? The LTM I am going to make a six times two so we'll go with three three six plus four six plus equal seven six But right now, I don't want to leave it that way. Yeah, I, I can say it would be one and one six if I wanted it to redo. Alright? Alright, something just a little more prettier. Let's go with 11, 12, plus 748. A little bigger number that time. Well, I can see something that is common. I can see something common in a common denominator. I can see a 48. What's 48 divided by 12? What is 4? See? 12 times 4. 48. So I can make that a 4 times a 4 to make it a common denominator more. So we have 44, 48, plus 748. Now we can add. This is 148. Now I want to share you a little bit of something here. That 
have the improper fraction right there. A proper fraction is lower number right there over vision number. But vision number over a lower number is no as improper fraction. Now let's try a subtraction. Now let's try subtraction. Let's go with 61 minus 1 third. Alright. You see, you see something that we can make out of? Make out of? Well, I can say that we can have a common vocal pole or so. What do you want to time three? Well, it's 33. So the LPM for that is 33. So we come with the automator. So it's kind of like that. So we got 18, 33, minus 11, 33. Ready for me to play? I will give you two of each. Two addition problems and two subtraction problems. One. One will have common denominator and one will not have common denominator. Possible. Now for improper fraction, do not worry about improper fraction.
Here we go this way. Hey, here.